In today's van life video, I'm gonna talk about the things I would change in my Winnebago Travado, but look at this. Look at this awesome view. All right, let's go. What is going on YouTube? Greetings from a state park here in Missouri. Today I'm gonna to talk about three things that I would change in my RV, but what I really could have titled this video is three things I'd look for if I decided to get a new RV. But first, check out this place I'm at. I am at a state park in Missouri called St. Francis State Park, and it's just gorgeous here, it's beautiful. There's this beautiful river here. There are cliffs overlooking the river. It's just a really, really cool place to come and hang out, spend the day, make a video. National parks get all the hype, but if you haven't explored any of your state parks, you really should. This is one example of one in Missouri here. All right, so the first thing I would change in my rig or something I would look for if I was gonna buy a new rig is I'd get rid of propane. In my rig, there are four things I have to fill up. I have to fill up my gas, I have to fill up my water, I have to fill up my electricity, and I have to fill up my propane. When you camp the way I do, the things you have to fill up are what dictate how long you can stay off grid. Winter camping has taught me that out of those four things I need to fill up, propane is the most restrictive and the one I have to make the most trips in town to take care of. Getting rid of propane takes me from four things down to three things I need to fill up. I know what you're saying, but Kevin, you need propane. You heat your rig with propane and you cook on your cooktop with propane. The cool thing is I can use one of the other two fuel sources I have to accomplish those two tasks. So the electricity from my Volta system could power an electric range. So that gets rid of needing propane to cook. And my gas tank, which is much bigger than my propane tank, could be used to heat my rig. There are heaters on the market that siphon either gas or diesel, whichever tank you have, to use to heat your rig. The second reason I'd wanna get rid of propane is the tank takes up space underneath my rig that could be used for more fresh water storage. So really the whole theme of this video is going to be about expanding the different tanks I need to stay off grid longer. So by getting rid of propane, I'm tapping into my gas tank, which is much bigger than my propane tank, so I can stay off grid longer if I need heat. And of course, if you have a rig like mine with a Volta system, you have almost unlimited electricity, so you'll have no issue powering your cooking range. Right now I have 13 gallons of freshwater storage on here. If I got rid of that propane tank, I could add at least another five to seven gallons of fresh water stored underneath my rig where that propane tank currently resides. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, do you mind going down to that little like button and giving it a little tickle? It makes the YouTube algorithm all giddy and they'll show this video to other people. All right, so the second thing I would change about my rig or look for in a new rig is I'd swap out my toilet for a cassette toilet. The number one reason for that is it's just much easier to find a place to empty a cassette toilet than it is to find a place to empty your black tank. I can empty a cassette toilet in places where I can empty a black tank, but you can also take them in the pit toilets, porta potties, and if you don't fill them all the way up, you can take them into a public restroom and dump them in there. You just have to hold the toilet lever down and you can just dump it in there. There's just so many options for dumping a cassette toilet than there is a black tank. The biggest reason though, and this goes back to what I talked about earlier, the tank capacity of this Travato, is if I had a cassette toilet in this rig, I'd be able to get rid of the 12 gallon black tank that's underneath the rig and replace that with more fresh water storage and gray water storage. So think about that. If I got rid of the propane tank, I got rid of the black tank, I could double my fresh water storage in this rig and that would allow me to stay off grid a lot longer and actually be able to take showers if I wanted to take a shower every day. Okay, so that's a great segue into my next point. I know what you're thinking. You're saying, okay, Kevin, all right, you're adding all this fresh water. What are you gonna do with it? You don't even like your shower 
in your rig. So the third thing I would change about my rig or look for in a new rig is a more functional shower. So for me, probably the biggest headache with this rig is that the shower isn't really functional. You have to do a bunch of mods to make it functional. And even when you do those mods, it's still not the greatest thing. If I was going to redesign that bathroom, I would pull out that closet, make that whole back area bathroom, maybe something like the Echo has with the little sliding door that separates the shower from the toilet, somewhere where I had a complete shower compartment and it was easy to clean. It didn't mess up my entire rig every time I took a shower. All right, so those are the things I would change about this rig. What do you think about the things that I said I would change or look for in a different rig? Do you think I'm a big baby? I'm complaining too much. Or do you think those are some good ideas? Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoy this van life travel type of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Lost track of the forest through the trees, forgot what I was chasing. Spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone vacant. And everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land. So now I'm driving back on in the state west. I just gotta feel something. Not gonna wait till the morning because something's gonna change my mind. I don't wanna change my mind. Oh, I wanna stay right here, right here, chilling with my friends for another.